Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be checking out the difference between Logitech's latest keyboard, the MX Keys, versus their most priciest and highest flagship model keyboard, the Logitech Craft. Okay, so before we begin this comparison video, keep in mind that these keyboards are similar aesthetically and in a few other ways, but the biggest difference between these two keyboards is this crown right here and the price of the keyboards. The point of this video is not to determine which one is better and which one is worse. The point of this video is to compare the two and see what their differences are despite the price being different. All right, so let's jump into it and we're gonna start out with the similarities and then we're gonna move on to the differences between the two keyboards. Starting off with similarity number one, the packaging. This packaging is essentially the same on both of these. You get the keyboard, you get the USB dongle, you get the USB-C cable, as well as the instruction manual. Nothing too special over here. The next similar things between these two keyboards are the colors that are being used. They're both gray and black, but they're a little bit swapped around. The Logitech Craft has a gray top bar with a black keyboard and the MX keys is swapped around. The keyboard is actually gray and the top of the bar is darker or black. So while we're on the subject of the aesthetics of the keyboards, if you don't know already, this color scheme is the same as the new Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. So the MX Master 3 also has this graphite gray uh, trimming on the side and a matte black on the top. So whatever keyboard you decide to go with, whether it be the Logitech MX Keys or the Logitech Craft, it's gonna match the newest and latest Logitech MX Master mouse. Similarity number three, the shape of the keyboard. They're essentially the same shape with the keyboard, but the top bar is different. The Logitech Craft has this large top bar, which is about an inch uh, tall, and the Craft has a top bar that's about half an inch. And I think the reason for this is because of the crown on the Logitech Craft and the software that it comes with. So they needed to add a little bit more space so that the crown can fit on this keyboard. Next, we're gonna talk about the keys on both of these keyboards. If you look closely at each and every single individual key, it has this concave uh, roundedness that goes into the key, which helps with your typing experience. So I kind of like that because as you're typing and clicking on the key, your finger kind of dips into the key and it makes it easier for you to actually kind of get a feel for where the key is and actually click in. I find that really comfortable and nice to use. Unfortunately, with both of the keyboards, the angle is not adjustable. So with the Logitech Craft and the MX keys, you're just gonna have to lay them down and use them at the angle that they come with. I did notice that the Logitech Craft does lay a little bit lower than the MX keys. So if you like a more lower profile, then the Logitech Craft is better at that. And if you like a little bit higher profile, then the MX keys will be propped up a little higher. I personally found them both to be comfortable and to me, it doesn't really matter. But if it's a big deal to you, just keep that in mind when you're looking at both of these keyboards. Now we're gonna move away from the aesthetics and the design of the keyboard and get a little bit more into the technical aspects of these keyboards. Let's talk about the compatibility between these two keyboards. So they are both compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. However, keep in mind with Linux that the software doesn't work too well, so you may have issues with that, but you can easily just plug and play any of these keyboards and it'll work like that. But if you actually wanna configure the software with any of these keyboards, you're probably gonna to have to do it on either Mac or Windows. So in terms of software, these keyboards are also very similar. You can customize the F1 through F12 keys to do essentially whatever you want. And on top of the number pad, you get an additional four keys that are also customizable on both keyboards. You get a calculator, you get a screenshot button, you get a search button, and you also get a quick logout button. You can customize these as well, but I wouldn't recommend you customize them because the icons are printed onto the keyboards and it might get a little bit confusing. At least for me it might, but it's totally up to you and it's your call on whether you wanna customize those or not. I personally found them pretty useful just as they are. Lighting with these keyboards are essentially the same. You have brightness settings that let you go higher and higher and higher or lower, lower and lower. And there's about six different brightness options that both of these keyboards have. And they also have a proximity sensor. So basically when your hand gets near the keyboard, it's gonna light up. 
And then a few seconds later, after you remove your hand from the keyboard, it's gonna dim down. And this is gonna help with the battery life, especially since both of these keyboards are wireless and require a charge for them to function. And speaking of wirelessness, there's three ways these keyboards can connect to your computer. One of them is of course the USB dongle that both of the keyboards come with. The other way is through Bluetooth. And the last option is the cable. With the included cable that both of the keyboards come with, you're able to charge and work at the same time. So if your battery ever dies, you can just charge it and wait until it gets recharged again. Both keyboards can connect to up to three devices using Logitech's Easy Switch technology. So you can connect up to three computers or phones or tablets on either of the keyboards. So if you're someone who's multitasking or you just have a lot of computers that you need to use, both keyboards can handle the task very easily. Now that we have most of the similarities out of the way, let's talk about some of the differences between both of these keyboards. And let's start with the build quality between the two. So the build quality on the MX keys is actually made of metal. The keyboard itself, the gray part here, is made of an aluminum material, which is really nice looking and actually feels better in your hands. As opposed to the Logitech Craft, the keyboard itself is made of this durable plastic, which still feels good, but I personally like the way the MX keys feel better. The Logitech Craft, though, does have this metal aluminum top bar, and the MX keys has this plastic top bar. So it's kind of like both of these keyboards are swapped in every possible way. The colors are swapped as well as the material type that they're using. The next difference between both of these keyboards is the battery life. The Logitech Craft battery wirelessly lasts for only three to four days depending on how heavy you use it, with the lights on of course. And of course with the Logitech MX keys, this thing lasts for around 10 days wirelessly with the lights on. So you're pretty much getting double wireless time with the MX keys. The MX keys is definitely better in terms of battery life. So if that's important to you, keep that in mind. And the biggest difference between the both of these keyboards is of course this big circular crown sitting on the Logitech Craft. So this knob here is actually pretty cool. You can do really cool things in the software with it. You can adjust your volume, your brightness, change your music, and in specific apps, you can do specific things. So like in Photoshop, you can twist this knob and adjust your brush size as you're editing photos. Or if you're in a spreadsheet, you can pan around and scroll around quicker. And there's tons and tons and tons of options that you have with this knob that you can do. As someone who makes YouTube videos, the way I personally like to use the knob is in my video editing software. I like to use it to pan around on the timeline and it's easier for me to find out where I am in the video editing process and what parts of the clips I need to cut. So at the end of the day, it really boils down to what you are looking for. If you're looking to increase your workflow to like the maximum precise level, then it's obvious that the Logitech Craft is the way to go. But if you're someone who's okay with their current workflow and you're not really you know, trying to make things super efficient and optimized and you just want something nice and clean sitting on your desk, then the MX Keys is better in that regard. And it's $100 cheaper and the build quality is better on the MX Keys. Me personally, build quality is very important to me because I really like having my setup nice, clean, and slick, and I like it when I'm holding high quality products in my hand because it just gives me this really nice and good feeling. And the MX Keys keyboard definitely gives off that effect. So me personally, I'm gonna stick with the MX Keys and use this thing. And if you haven't seen my video on the MX Keys over here, I did an in-depth review on this keyboard, so be sure to check that out in the description below. If you guys like this video and want to stay up to date with what's happening in the tech world, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comment down below.